we have six samples to look at. Each sample is going to have two different variables that we can choose from. And you can see here's a, a quarter up here for scale. This, uh, what we're seeing cut here is a tiny um, crop of a cross uh, hatching. You, you know, in the, uh, the uh, image, there's these kind of cross hatched sections where you'll see the, the intersections. This is this is what we'll actually be looking at, and this gives you an idea of the scale of, of what that's going to uh, be. So in each sample, we're going to have two things changing. This is, uh, these, these positive areas have a depth of cut, and as we go through the samples, each one is going to be cut maybe about two hundredths of an inch deeper as we go. And the interior is actually going to get smoother. Um, so you can see this is a very kind of aggressive... Um, carved painterly interior. These little uh, uh, high points will encourage the color effects to kind of pool and we'll get a, a not a lot of extra highlights from spotlights on these. Um, but as we go through the samples you'll see that these um, these kind of contoured uh, lines become smoother and smoother and this depth gets deeper and deeper. And what we can do is we can say, well, I like the shallowness or the depth of the third one, but I like the interior effects of this fifth one, and we can make a combination, and, and that's what we'll go with. So this first sample is the shallowest cut that I think we can get away with and it look right. It's it's just a basic relief. It um, you can see it's it's this is not real deep at all, and but the roughest interior. So kind of memorize that. That would be sample number one. And this is, again, just a little bit deeper. You can see as it's incre increased in depth. And it's very difficult to see, but this is just a one tiny bit less rough on the interior. The, these little ridges are going to uh, start disappearing. Okay, this next sample is the next step deeper. See, we're getting a little, little plateau-type vibe going on there. And again, these little ridges now have become less pronounced as we're going. Now this is starting to be truly deep cut. You, you can see there's a heavy shadow under here. Um, depending on how it's gonna be let, when you get into these deeper cuts, you have a much stronger looking object on the wall. And uh, you can tell like these little ridges are, you know, starting to smooth out. We're, de we're dealing with just a tiny little line here where it used to be a, a, a pronounced peak. This is sample number five of six. This is getting um, deeper and even less pronounced. You can see these are just now little, tiny little grooves. This is a, a really attractive look, um, but it wouldn't be very visible from a distance. And this is probably as deep as we can go. And we've started smoothing out this texture, so it just looks kind of painterly. Um, it's probably not going to capture effects in any particular way. But you can see this is very deeply cut with just a little bit of interest in here to make it not, you know, look too, you know, manufactured. And this would be sample number six.